Welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Today we're going to make some turnip greens. Let's go harvest some turnips. So I've noticed my turnips are starting to look like they need to be harvested. We've got some of the leaves turning yellow. They're a little crowded in there. And the bulbs are bulking up finally. And uh, so I'm going to harvest some. I'm going to harvest some mess of greens. We're going to cook some turnip greens today. Check out these turnips. That's about a good size right there. With the turnips though, I'm harvesting for the greens primarily. Now you can come and pluck the greens. I've done that already once this season, but I want some I want some turnips to go in my in my turnip greens as well. Look at that. Turnip greens don't keep very well, so you want to harvest on the day that you're going to cook them. And it takes a lot of greens to get what we call a mess. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, see they were pretty dense in there. So thinning them will help the, the ones I leave behind bulk out and mature, but that's a nice bunch of turnips right there, huh? These are really mellow turnips. They're not real peppery like the purple top turnip. Yeah, that's nice. So some of them I'll leave behind. You can see how they kind of shove each other out of the way, kind of like a, uh, a beetroot will do. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice turn. So there's what we got today, plus a few more that I got earlier that are in the kitchen. We're gonna go clean these off and uh, soak them in some uh, some water and sort out all the bad leaves. We're gonna make a mess of turnip greens. Let's go cook. Okay, so I have cleaned my sink and disinfected everything because the sink is one of the dirtiest places in your house. The dirt from the garden's not gonna bother me. We know that's clean dirt. <laughs> but I'm just gonna rinse everything off, get the big dirt off of this. And then I'm going to <clears throat> start cutting the bulbs off the greens. And then we'll soak them in here to really get rid of all the nastiness that may be hiding in here, all the bugs and wonderful slugs and critters that like to eat my food.
hour waiting on this to simmer down, but it's done. The broth looks a little white compared to some others that I've seen, but that's because I used a lot of uh, a lot of turkey, a lot of uh, a lot of butter. But oh, it tastes so good. So uh, here we go. Look at this. The turnip's real mild. It's not bitter at all. The turkey gives it that nice uh, smoky, savory flavor. A little, just a little tiny touch of heat from those peppers. And yeah, this is really, really good. Wow, this is, this is great. I would make this again. This makes a meal in itself with that, those turkey legs in there. You've got everything you need for a full meal. And with those red turnips, as opposed to the purple top white globes, the red turnips are very mild. They're very tender. And I was worried a little bit that if I left some peel on that, uh, that that peel might be a little tough, but the ones that I left the peel on, they're fine. This is delicious. So there you go, southern style, kind of soul food style, turnip greens. Delicious. All right, well, I'm tired. I'm gonna eat my dinner, go to bed. Thanks for joining me on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. If uh, you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. We'd appreciate your subscription. Click the bell, you'll be notified in the future of all our posts. And look forward to seeing you on Instagram and on Facebook. Y'all have happy gardening, take care.